As you can see, I got the exhaust dropped out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out, drop the car. I'm gonna fire it up, see what it sounds like. Good Hyperball fan, we are back. Working on the Fox a little bit. Finally, finally got this thing up and running to where it's idling. It's not, it's running a little rich still, but it's not as bad as it was. So we've literally ran through about three gallons of gas, just idling, trying to get it to not run as rich. So we finally got it. I can get it started up. Hopefully the battery isn't too bad. Let's see. Let me actually go on the other side. You can see we got the seat back in it. Took it for a little itty bitty test drive. When I mean itty bitty test drive, I mean from here to here to here. See if this thing fires up. It usually fires right up. I'm sure it's in the truck. Today what we're gonna do, I got some um, some nice brushes we're gonna go through and try to clean the inside of this. Yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here and uh, get cleaning. <laughs> Progress here. Yeah. Got these two areas cleaned out. I mean, it's not that big of a difference when compared to this. Yeah. Pretty good. Got my my boy back there. What's up? Clean it back here. Yeah, it's so and dirty. I have truck. to clean it. Kind of clean this spot over here. Oh yeah. Clean a little bit over there. So let's go ahead and work with me. We're out here.
as you can see, the mud was just ridiculous on there. So it's taken like two or three times to really get it like a decent amount of clean. You can see like even it's still starting to come back a little down there, but you know I know it'll never be clean. I mean it's a race car, so not like it's gonna be a show car, so we're not aiming to get it freaking spotless, but trying to get the majority of the freaking decade is old dirt out of there. Well, if you look back here, you can see the difference already to it. Like, this is, this is how everything looks. And this is the stuff we did already. So, I mean, it's a big difference. Right after cleaning the Fox, we just got it basically all cleaned up. Um, I'm starting the video in my garage because my neighbor is like, having a party outside and playing a bunch of music so don't want to get that in the video but yeah we're gonna go outside uh do a little work under the car today we got a transmission leak from the speedometer plug so we're gonna plug that up and uh, i got the plug inside hopefully it's the right one and then we are gonna see about taking the exhaust off open headers here we come so we're gonna see if we can get that done without needing a lift if we can we'll get it done if not we'll just wait till we got the lift because i'm not going to kill myself under the car when uh just put it on the lift and have it done yes my hair is looking absolutely crazy it's actually the day after uh the race track video that i just posted so took my braids out and just, here we are so yeah we're gonna go get some work done so we got the comfort out right here so dark Here we go. Can't touch my camera, so I'm full of trans my hands are full of transmission fluid, so that's the best we're gonna be able to do. There it is right there. So that's what's uh been causing all this leaking down here. So we got our plug right here from BMM. Uh O ring. Just gonna put it in here. Whenever you put an O ring on, you wanna make sure it's nice and lubricated, so she has a little bit of oil. But it uh, looks like it's gonna fit. Never taken any dust off before, to be honest. I see. Just sliding in and out, and it's only connected by like. I think the only thing holding it back is these those hangers in the back. So we're gonna get that bolt removed out of there. See if this thing just slides right off. Looks like it does, so we'll see. As you can see, I got the exhaust dropped out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out, drop the car. I'll fire it up, see what it sounds like. So there it is. You see, they had the fall masters on it, so I mean, it sounded good, but it's the open header sound, so you get it dropped. And uh, we're gonna fire it up. All right, so it hasn't been started in a while, so we're gonna see if we can fire it up on the first try. See how it sounds. impressed with how this thing sounds this thing is absolutely screaming with no exhaust like it was decently loud before but now it's just I'm gonna give it one more start. 